Hello. <laughs> that looks a bit like the human brain uh, with the uh, icon for the medical profession running up through it and it's got a willy wrapped around it that is not yet erect and what you've got is a revelation that I might be Jewish <laughs> I might be Christian or I might be Islamic and everything is brought together in all the stories that divide the world <laughs> yeah they have got very limited imagination when they dream up the religious myths let me explain it <laughs> this is about the invocation and making yourself available to all of the religions <laughs> using the same storyline I've got some images on this computer that I'll show you and this is the end that buzzes so I'm gonna use it very briefly <laughs> okay uh, and I've got the images here and I want you to know <laughs> that that in the Jewish faith where the Jewish angels are explained in this video that they've got strong links to Downton Abbey and all the court stories that are in Revelations you remember I mentioned the four corners of the earth <laughs> let me show you the pictures it might be easier for folk that are not religiously inclined to understand it well the air force are passing by and that's part of the story <laughs> the RAF is tied into the Jewish angels and the all-seeing eye okay uh, let's see if I can get this paid though there could be a second RAF vehicle maybe they're on to the fact that we need to have an uprising against our political paymasters <laughs> okay let me just show you uh, and I'm at really sort of intrigued by it let's show you the video first and then I'll show you the pictures and the links to my interests in iron channels and the channels that keep us conscious and the channels that allow us to keep our heart beating there are huge parallels <laughs> with the little map of how the angels are on all corners of the Jewish earth and the Christian earth and above and below we have a presence like we have in in Downton Abbey I was going to say oh there it is yeah. so Downton Abbey you have an upstairs section and a downstairs section yeah. uh, and the downstairs section is uh, so harsh uh, let me explain let the video that I watched yesterday morning at 3 o'clock <laughs> when my alarm bell rang in my head it's amazing <laughs> and the links to popular culture and all the myths and all the things that keep the masses enslaved are immense and I'll give you a little tourist guide of central Paris to show you <laughs> how everybody is affiliated to the Jewish nation the Christian nation the Islamic nation and all of the prophet streams that flow through them <laughs> Four corners. All seeing eye. Fields of gold. <laughs> the shame Adonai. Mimin Michael. Umisamoli. Gabriel. Miss Molly to be explained later uh, in the writings of Moliere and the Paris street addresses Gabriel <laughs> all of us have heard of him okay uh, and the links to the words at the top take you into cheap shot jokes about the colour brown 
uh, and everything that you learn in the Mozart film about eating shit and reading the words backwards on an obligatory trend if you want to understand this fully I do not believe that I understand it fully but I've got the gist of it and it is quite scary that the world is led by these myths and these stories uh, and it takes you into the epicenter of hell in Paris <laughs> it's a beautiful peaceful city they don't get involved in wartime because they've got a lot of the treasures from other people's countries in the Louvre and all of the beautiful places that are maintained there since the revolution failed to bring down the palace <laughs> That's in front of me, Muriel or Uriel or the Yuri Geller joke about the spoon bending and the killing of people in the boats in the Godfather sector. Isn't it hilarious? And you've got to be devout and you need to understand that your soul is at risk if you do not get down on your knees and kowtow to all of these religious figureheads. Ahorai Raphael the Al Roshi. So that was the REF bit. <laughs> yeah, and all of it is backed up by the pictures and the images and everything on the aircraft wings of those aircraft that just flew by are in the all seeing eye joke and also the jokes sung by Oasis about being in the eye of your mind <laughs> uh, and everything is a massive play on words to steal from the people Roshi, Valerie, my wife <laughs> okay, the bint okay, <laughs> yeah and that is offensive in popular culture if you're a moralist <laughs> yeah, okay, let's keep going <laughs> That's the Shakira linkage, <laughs> and everything takes you into China <laughs> with the Christian cross behind it, and all of it is ever so twisted. <laughs> but it means that you have to give up those collections twice a year, and if you're unlucky enough to be. <laughs> to be in the uh, false news sector in Paris it will keep you really busy for decades to come I think the conspiracy theorist might see where we're going <laughs> it's on the dollar <laughs> yeah everything is pyramidal the Christmas tree is pyramidal <laughs> The do they know it's Christmas joke is twisted on all corners of our globe and now it is the only way that they can make the money by making the merchandise. <laughs> yeah, and let's keep going. The delivery, as you will notice, and you probably have noticed already, is very akin to the method used by Ali G or Borat when he tours the world taking the piss out of all of the beliefs and all of the political dogma and all of the religious dogma because he's a cover like the Marx brothers were for the magnitude of this crime <laughs> and he's highly paid and he's really sexed up and they will stop at nothing and you know they'll even sniff your anus like a dog because those are the practices that the religions would have us believe are the way that determine human behaviours and our route to heaven <laughs> in that beautiful universe that is picted in two dimensions <laughs> yeah until Galileo came along and was persecuted by the Pope they dare not use the hexagram for Israel 
or the hexagram for the Rothschilds with the blood dripping off it but that's what you're looking at polite versions of the same story <laughs> So six angels, four corners, one above, one in Halles, <laughs> at the epicenter of the French marketing industry. Yeah. <laughs> and when I went to Paris, it is a beautiful, beautiful city. I could not win the hearts of any of the women I was interested in in that city. <laughs> uh, and some of those women are in the Indiana Jones film. Indiana Jones narrowly survived the crashing of his own plane in the false news sector this morning on Radio 4. <laughs> yeah, and uh, let's keep going. Can you listen to it? It's just like Ali G relating the things that they laugh at uh, everybody's religions, everybody's political beliefs and the sexual bedroom behaviours of Dave, David Beckham and Posh who are in the boardroom with Princess Anne who will now eat our horses because all of this joke is coming out and the bit about the war dead laughed at by the British monarchy and all of the elites in the G8 for centuries they are in a very dangerous place. That's the willow tree. <laughs> the saw for the tree and the woman and the dreidel down on her knees. That's Madonna's role. Madonna is better than that and I know that now. I know that she is active uh, and I know that she can be inspirational. <laughs> yeah, that is the I'm a lumberjack, I'm doing okay icon. <laughs> partly the dogs and cats icon and partly the role of women in life. The shame Adonai Mimini. So that's Lord Adonis the Lord of the Lords joke again. This is now Mikhail, the Jewish angel that I was aware of already. I did not know there were another five for me to learn. <laughs> okay, and the bit that Mozart told us about reading the words backwards and pronouncing them backwards is obligatory in the Aramaic and Hebrew texts. And it's a giveaway that some of those words mean brown. <laughs> uh, and it's ever so twisted. Okay, so Michael is the right winger in this effort, yeah, as if there was a genuine left wing anywhere in Paris. I'll show you the map in a few minutes. Oh. Gabriel. So that was Miss. Molly, it's taken me ages to understand the role of the mole. Miss Molly is the left winger. <laughs> and when you, let's take it back. A little bit of investigation. Right in the middle of the map of Paris, next to all of the avenues, everything's tree lined or is in the Rothschild shrubbery. <laughs> yeah, the willow is the joke about the female genitalia. We just saw it. It was dropped out of the Lord of the Rings film because it was too sensational to reveal. And that's where Tom Bombadil lives at the bottom of the River Withy window. And he lives at the uh, the Hayes End. <laughs> that's hell. Halles in Paris is hell. And the model for the market is used all over the Chipping Norton region and we have visited that and my children and I have shopped in <laughs> the markets that just look like the model of Halles in Paris. <laughs> uh, remember I live in a house called Valhalla. It was not named by me. 
and that determines in Valhalla the fate of the vanquished and defeated in wartime I have not yet given up <laughs> ok Gabriel <laughs> Gabriel is maybe the one who impregnated the Virgin Mary but look at the Life of Brian movie and look at the speculation about whether Mary on the balcony in the window scene is actually a virgin <laughs> that's the Monty Python's Life of Brian window scene and you could also look at the stoning movie from the Life of Brian and see how you have to buy your stones in the marketing exercise eh, in the region of Paris called Halles <laughs> and it takes you to the lovely beaches on the west coast of Scotland the Machia it's lovely there that is just behind <laughs> the frauds that Norman Lamont intends to commit <laughs> yeah and the Isle of Arran <laughs> is the Aryan myth that leads to the jerseys and all of the posh buildings on those islands where the poor people live in things called crofts <laughs> eh, and the rich people live in mansions that are so vast that even the people downstairs will not be able to get to the cobwebs in the top corners that's the four corners of this little global map that I am charting out for you do you get it? four corners in the big house and the upstairs downstairs sector <laughs> yeah I don't think any of the owners of the world will make it upstairs at the end of the stories Raphael Baal Roshi Shekhinat El the shrubbery <laughs> do you understand now the Zieg Heil gestures made by Hitler eh, and I don't know whether or not he was left, right <laughs> front or back yeah but you've got the links to uh, Rolf in the nomenclature that is being used here and Rolf is a joke in the sound of music about the fascist infiltration of the Hitler youth movement that delivered us both Führhop <laughs> that is Tiny Rollins and Pope Benedict who's in the safe house that used to be a park hotel and understands all of these angelic messages ever so well because he's got nothing but time and he has no criminal prosecutions to worry about that's a mosaic <laughs> part of the joke like the tiles in every church the black and white draft board yeah we're just bit parts in this massive global game and yesterday I learned that there is a now a monopoly board for Scotland <laughs> yeah it is easy to find the epicenters for fraud in Scotland most of them are run by Englishmen or Irishmen there's the Hippocratic snake <laughs> yeah the joke about the dragon which is behind your zipper in your trousers and when it becomes erect it then becomes the Pinalhuch monument to laugh at the war dead in the Napoleonic Wars that's in the Borders region I don't know what they're called and in Trafalgar Square <laughs> yeah, where my friends were protesting the other day that the BBC were not doing enough to let the news out about the ownership of the world <laughs> okay and I got a call this morning from a woman who's heard the videos that the BBC are gonna save us they are defaming Islam on that beast this morning that's Radio 4 no longer do we have Jim Nocte because 
he may have been taken down since I made the video on him and his interlocks to Tony Blair and the man Andrew Marr <laughs> that's the Mars Hill joke which is also part of this as you'll see in Paris in a few minutes okay <laughs> uh, and let's keep going the internal so this is Adonis who links in to Michael Grade in that massive fraud empire that we mentioned yesterday <laughs> uh, the shame Adonai now that one is quite complicated because Min is the name of the witch in the Arthurian stories and the stories about the Kestrel and all of the stories about finding those swords in lakes <laughs> yeah the sword is the same shape as the Christian cross which you might have noticed and the Christian cross is carried around the world as an icon for slaughter everywhere and the enemy is usually <laughs> a supporter of the same angels okay <laughs> uh, and the the one that came and visited the Virgin Mary and told her that she was gonna get pregnant really quickly when the three kings came on their Camillas uh, and they gave her the aphrodisiac which is the myrrh plant so that as a virgin she could still bear the fruit of the angel <laughs> yep there's speculation on the authenticity of that story at the Monty Python's window scene you should watch it and if you get it wrong look forward to getting the stone right between your eyes <laughs> that's the King David story he had five pebbles and he brought down the Goliath that was built like Michael Moore the criminal Gabriel. I now understand the very young death of the woman who sang about fields of gold uh, I keep forgetting her name uh, but I'll play that at the end if we have time she sings about dark eyed Molly too <laughs> The fields of gold are the vast tracts of land that these bastards take from the ordinary people and they then make them into national parks. That's the Canadian story with the Canadian central banker now in England trained in Basel, <laughs> yet very near to France and where all of the battles took place and it was right at the bottom of that region where they had the marginal line <laughs> and all of it is tragic and all of it is worshipped yet yeah, that's the amazing thing that nobody sees through it but yours truly uh, <laughs> uh, and the elites see through it because they profit from it for 2000 and 1100 years so Yuri Geller and the spoon bending <laughs> yeah isn't it funny and you put the Miriam the M and M joke at the end of your icon's name and suddenly you've got the explanation for the parentage of the very influential pisos that we have talked about in the videos I've made look it up Abelard Reuchlin the Piso Flam family and religious fraud 1 and 2 it is magnificent in its capacity to steal the hearts and minds and control the masses and the M&M &M is the sweetie they used to be smarties <laughs> yeah but I'm not sure I understand that I used to be in love with a girl called Smart but I cannot get her to visit my town now she's also a professor she embalms people so that was the Ralph in the sound of music 
and there's the bit part mentioned for my wife and she's much taller than me yeah the Valdividia earthquake was quite massive but it was exceeded in 2014 eh, when she left me <laughs> okay I don't know whether or not to turn because everything looks really dangerous to me now <laughs> yeah but I sort of hope that I am shielded by my friends in the sky that keep waking me up with this information at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> eh, and I'm not very sure what Madonna has on the movie she makes about James Bond <laughs> but it's only got four digits in it and I just wish I was bright enough to understand the need to read these things backwards eh, and this is not the translations that include the swastika letter <laughs> okay eh, all of the people that do all of the deviant writings are totally twisted eh, and God is taking many of them down now or their children or their spouses now that one really spooked me because my sister eh, is a Sheena <laughs> but that is the Shakira joke can you see it? it is the China joke yesterday we explained the Cairo Egyptian jokes and I used to know a girl called Jane Hales I was also in love with her I've been in love with many people none of them know it <laughs> yeah but Jane Hales is a sub pseudonym for Halley and she now works for the Swiss company that make chocolate <laughs> I forget what that oh Nestle uh, and that is in the St Albans region where we have a massive cathedral and in America they also have a massive St Albans cathedral and that is worshipped at by the children of George W Bush who helped to translate both the Talmud and the Christian Bible which is part of your geopolitical commitments if you want to remain a world owner and the eel is a fishy thing and that is the penis joke okay uh, and the Santa Claus joke is not anywhere to be seen in this series of revelations but that is the role of Gabriel to come and announce to the Virgin that she's gonna have her hymen severed and hymen Roth is in the Godfather film <laughs> And there's the sun <laughs> which is relatively anonymous in religion nowadays and I have a lot of faith <laughs> in the sun god and his power to have the elements take back the world into decent hands right I'm not sure whether or not we get more text at the end so do you get it there's the four corners and we've got an upstairs and a downstairs sector just like Downton Abbey yeah and you've got at the eye of that you've got the real gods that created the real universe <laughs> uh, and I know that this four, co four corners thing is bringing decent people forward and I've mentioned some of their names in the last few days uh, some of them are journalists some of them are pop singers and some of them are just ordinary Joes like me yeah with a little bit of grey matter between their ears and I will show you now the linkage to the iron channel model which the gods created for us and make our hearts beat and make you conscious and control your cardiovascular status that is the distension or contraction of your arteries and your arterioles that deliver the blood to every cell in your body and all of that is under the control of the gods okay <laughs> this bit I'm trained in the rest of it is religion I am a little bit of a heretic <laughs> but I now understand the human condition and the role of psychology in world leadership it is simple and that's why everybody gets really nervous when they learn that the acts of God 
regulate our physiology eh, and our pathology and our children's futures from the moment that they are taken into the delivery room and the palsies can be in the head, in the eye or in any of the organs in our body okay and it is ironic that the powerful humans choose to laugh at that because now they realize that it has cost them some of their own children or their wives the man who reads the news on the economics in Britain is Robert Peston his wife died really really young and he is a liar in the economic sector and he's cover for the peso Peston Preston jokes that is the Pistorius joke and all of it is so childish that it's unbelievable that we resort to it as our world leadership methodology the hypocritic oath for the doctors yet yeah, in the healthcare frauds and I've mentioned the Wolfson Trust I've mentioned the doctors the civil servants that sell the NHS for personal gain and every one of the bureaucrats that have now taken all of those decent professions and imposed CPD upon them as false flag diversions for killers that never existed yeah so the man that killed all of his patients with the opiates was Shipman that's a cover for the war correspondent for Iraq yeah the killing of the boy in Liverpool that meant that mums have to take all of the children into the school in a car and get them signed off every time they come out yeah that is about the killing of Prime Minister Bolger or his involvement in scams in Aust New Zealand and the, the launch of the Captain Kirk and the Falkirk issues are about the covers for the killing of Norman Kirk who tried to stop the nuclear weapons testing in uh, in Australasia off those innocent little countries that never get left alone and the war dead get laughed at because Mr Bean was the war correspondent for Gallipoli that's the Olympics joke okay and when you play the Olympics joke on look up chariots of fire and hit the lyrics word and you get a sad sad joke about something that we saw earlier on I mentioned the name that Min is associated with witchcraft and the occult in Britain okay that's not an insult I know many people that are nicknamed named Min I believe that witchcraft is much more innocent than Christianity that's why the witches were persecuted the last witch to be convicted for treason uh, and burnt to death in Britain was uh, was she's in the Victor Meldew comedies uh, and her name is Mrs uh, she's the one who when they break down on the motorway she gets out of the back of the car and gets a packet of crisps for all of the people that are in the queue from the local pub Mrs. Uh, oh, sorry, it's gone. Uh, Mrs. War Boys. <laughs> War Boys. Everything takes you back to the same route. That's what they live for. They live for imposed conflict to bankrupt the participant nations. And they live for killing people to put the cash in their own bank account somewhere between Geneva and Bermuda okay so on here I began to make some revelations So the links between Christianity and Jewish and Islamic faiths is so close 
closely intertwined that it is impossible to rip them apart uh, and nobody in law enforcement has any intention of disturbing the equilibrium here. There's the Duncan Abbey picture, there's the above my head angels and there's the eternal god Shakira. <laughs> yeah, Shakira could well be one of the decent women. She is incredibly talented. She began to write her own music aged four like Mozart did. Okay, the jokes are futile. It takes an immense intellect to understand them all, which is why I'm still quite insecure about how far this goes. Uh, but when you see the six-pronged model, you understand entirely the hexagram that is the icon for Israel. Uh, and let me tell you about that now. You know about the Prime Minister of Israeli. You know that he was the Prime Minister when Queen Victoria was being shagged by the King of Kings, the Rothschilds, that sired all of her illegitimate children. The only legitimate child in a legitimate marriage was sired by blind King George of Cumbria that nobody has ever heard of now when you ask them and you look them straight in the eye. Yeah, the, uh, Some of the Lamont family have links to Cumbria. They've never heard of blind King George. But they are a bit panicky about my revelations on the Professoriat in Dunedin that is working to steal New Zealand from all of the citizens of New Zealand. Okay. It's an affiliation that is explained in that image. Okay. Everybody are slaves to the feudal system that is the tyrannical system that owns the world for all of human history. But now we can read and write, we can blow it open. And thank you to the folk that are beginning to contact me and call me up. Uh, okay, so you've got the links to the mini skirt are there. That's the mini ini. That's the mini skirt joke. And when you look for the lyrics of the chariots of fire, let's do it now. You could become a researcher. It's fascinating to see why your children have no future. And it is really easy to understand it. Okay? You understand now the chariots of fire joke about running for your country on a Sunday. And that is in the Olympics. Where in when I was a boy, everybody had to be amateur to run in the Olympics. Mary Peters, this is a story about you. I don't know whether or not the Commonwealth Games people that were at school with me were corrupted in the same way that Mary Peters was. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, they, they know this is the surveillance team. Okay? Uh, everything is coming out. I'm not picking that up. Okay, what was I going to show you? Okay, uh, the chariots of fire. lyrics. Now watch for the uh, panty liners. Yeah, everything is sick. Uh, and they probably will have taken this off the menu, but I watched it just yesterday. Uh, and I think it's that one. Soul music. What was the music that was in my heart? And then they got married, so chill. same as the tennis skirts, everything demeans women, demeans homosexuality, is about political correctness, 
all of the biological rules that we were given, which are none at all, they are all now bureaucratic sins, <laughs> and all of it takes our capacity. If you run in a pair of training shoes, or just a pair of sand shoes, with a pair of shorts on, you're not safe, you're not allowed to do that anymore, you have to have helmets, you have to have gear on your bike, everything is twisted, and that is tied in to the marketing scheme that is the market in France called Halles. <laughs> He's a Murray, he lives on the fault line at Dunblane, and Dunblane is about the stealing of orphaned kids for the elites, which is why Prince Philip was the patron at the Dunblane School. That's the etrog joke, that is the slit in the dress that is inside we have the female pie. That's the pie joke about the Pisos that wrote the New Testament. I'm now going to take you on a little, uh, a little crusade into the Paris mission and I will explain to you the role of the uh, <laughs> epicentre of Paris where the tyrants are always picking on the minor religions that they have launched in parallel with Christianity but a few thousand or five hundred years following it so that they are always the victim of the stronger nation with the cross on the end of their sword and the blood all over their hands and you can also see in the centre of Paris but I'm going to take you into the epicenter of the religious jokes <laughs> that you can see that they uh, also have a laugh because the Shakespeare building is in the same sector <laughs> yeah Shakespeare is a geopolitical manipulation tool for all of these governments and now all of the newspapers are the same tool There we are. We're right in the heart. Now, do you get it? It's called an arrondissement. And all you get is the 8th R, A R R. That is the Aryan thing. That is the master race. That is right in the heart of Paris. Okay? <laughs> we start with Les Halles. You remember that? And if you look that up, it's pronounced and it means sexual congress congress <laughs> uh, yeah an easy lay isn't that funny you could get your balls up the knicker leg of those women in the mini skirts if you really wanted to and if you want a black woman now you could get venus <laughs> yeah the champions from america are formidable looking women i would not like to wrestle with them but I could take the Archbishop of Canterbury out without any stones at all. Okay, <laughs> right then, what else have we got? So Les Halles is the epicentre for the downstairs sector. It's the market. Let me show you what the market looked like. Okay, and when we visited English towns in the Chipping Norton region, on the way to Bristol and the West Country, You've got markets that look exactly like this. And when I went to the markets in France, because I worked there for a time, and I made my way from Basel, I was born to make these revelations, and my website is called Revelations. Prof. George Lee's front slash revelations. Have a look. It explains why your kids have no future, and no cash, and a massive debt burden if they've already done three or four years at university. Okay, there it is. There's the design. 
it looks like some of those buildings in the Lord of the Ring films uh, and the Lord of the Rings films where those buildings are are called Edoras uh, and that is part of the religious denominations and the religious writing story <laughs> yeah it's all if you look up the Jewish angels or the angels in Wikipedia you will see that all of this is a vicious joke there's the original Halles in Paris in the 19th century yeah <laughs> almost everything is iconic and Solomon like <laughs> okay uh, and Halles is hell that's the downstairs sector can you guess what they have built there now this is where I miss John Patterson's, Patterson's company because John Patterson would have followed the story so far and he would have given me interlinks to the fraudsters that run the world but what they did in the 1980s was to make a film about Halley's in Paris it was called Subway yeah and it featured the same actor that played Tarzan in the movie about Roxburgh Castle yeah a Frenchman that movie is very difficult to find now <laughs> okay that is because people like me now understand the underworld joke that is Halley's and the man who died committed suicide in America who made the joke about the underground train uh, and the fraud in the train station uh, I forget what it was called uh, that was an American movie the director of that film committed suicide and the director of that film is the brother of the man who made the fabulous science fiction movies about outer space uh, and also there's a French director involved in the creation of that film The Fifth Element okay the French are artistic piss artists they are profiteers in wartime and their treasures in all of their museums including the Louvre are from other people's countries yeah uh, and I've told you the stories about trying to engage their sporting heroes in my campaign to get the citizens their money back but this revolutionary country the revolution was also a genocide and it was committed by a very close relative of the people from Versailles where they have a petit farm yeah in England we have a petit France and that is where the heads of the central bank live okay <laughs> uh, and the French in wartime are in Buckinghamshire so that they're immune from any risk okay let me take you to the map <laughs> here it is uh, and what you've got is the first second and third arrondissements that's the master race sectors <laughs> okay the Eiffel Tower could well be because it's in the Champ de Mars that's the Mars Hill joke uh, and the jokes are there's a Mars worships at my local Jehovah's Witnesses now we were joined a couple of weeks ago by the South African contingents and the man that is ever so good at fishing because I helped him along is a dead ringer for the man who in the pharmaceutical industry used to be my boss and is now on the Forbes rich list <laughs> yeah everything is absolutely twisted but thank you God for giving me the clues and thank you God for introducing me to the body double for the Rothschilds that drinks in the Dardanelles pub the Dardanelles is the route to World War One, and all of those deaths of all of those innocent victims that we celebrate at the war memorial but we never mention their names okay uh, so you've got all the links there so you've got the place de Saint Pierre that's Saint Peter the pier joke all around the free world yeah Avenue Gabriel 75008 Paris France Raphael 105 Rue de Prony Paris France Avenue Molière Molly with the dark eyes I now understand entirely why that woman died she sings about the things that Sting and Cheryl Crow who had the breast cancer used to sing about 
They sing then about being picked to play the game, but they laugh at the stealing of the world from its innocence and its indigenous people. The Crow people are one of the American Indian tribes. Okay, <laughs> and you've got the Eiffel Tower in the Champs de Mars. The story about the uh, the epicenter for this, which is in the Las Halles, the cathedral has got very close to it. Uh, it's it's saying is very English, but he was actually. Let me close in on it a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Third arrondissement Paris Royal Les Halles, there it is. So look for the shape of the church. It's magnificent as always. Uh, there's the Avenue Gabriel, there's the Palais Royal, yet the links are always to the same people and the same culprits. Saint Thomas de Aquinas, Pont Alexander the Third, Musée de la Orangerie. Think of the sectarian implications of that. <laughs> yeah. And the religious wars that ensue. The Ritz Hotel. That's where Princess Diana left from. Right in the heart of this network. The Café Cappuccinos. That's where the hotel, the villa uh, in the Côte d'Azur where Beaverbrooks and Winston Churchill celebrated Churchill's golden wedding anniversary was named the same. The Cappuccino Coffee, it's also the estate of uh, Julius Caesar in the Black Sea region, where the Rothschilds came from. Okay, Mickey Travel Agency. That's the McHale joke. I could not find a McHale. Do you understand the Avenue joke? It's surrounded by wood. And that is the Ave Maria joke. They surround the avenue by wood. The Ave Maria joke is the joke that the wood is the Christian cross. Isn't that funny? The Christian icon never lived, and all of these people know it. The Rue de Casanova. <laughs> okay, the Jardin de Tuileries. This is the icons for the empire leaders and the French monarchs and they link in to the Bourbon dynasty link in to Cardinal Richelieu <laughs> and they link in to the Duplessis from South Africa and the Kemp's that we talked about in the HSBC and all of it is absolutely ruthless there's the Bank Lazar right through the heart of this the Rue de London the Rue de Milan <laughs> yeah, and the Rue de Edinburgh the Rue de Madrid the Rue de Rome yeah. <laughs> we've zoomed in too much I still cannot find the church that is the joke about the saint that took me to Halles in the first place Halles, Halles, Halles. La Marie. That's Mary. <laughs> yeah, she's just outside the fence. Yeah. Place de la Concorde. I've explained the Airbus wars and the role of the people, the Boeings, from north by northwest in the brutalization of all of the world as munitions magnets. That is right next door to the airbase that they used to bomb Russia and is the birthplace of Dean Henderson is the launch of the River Runs Through It movie yeah and what you've got here is links to the Moliere's the Avenue Moliere is the mole joke and the moles are the joke about the left wing being represented anywhere in global politics <laughs> Jim Murphy is a friend of Israel he's in the news all of the time because he made it obvious that he was up for a laugh at the working man's expense as the leader of Labour Party in Scotland yeah he's been in the treasury like all of these thieves 
Yeah. <laughs> I still cannot find a religious institution. Place de Saint Pierre. Do you get the Pierre joke now? Do you get the spinning top joke? The dreidel? The jokes about gambling and the winner taking it all? Which is basically what happens to the monarchy. If you win, you get to kill your cousins and your relatives and your close in-laws. And that keeps you in control of all of these big cities. And it allows you to abdicate to them during wartime so you can have a good time with the rest of the bastards. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that should be batards. And unlawful killers. Not murderers. Or familicide uh, planners. There's unlawful killers. Les Halles. Okay, so what do you think we've got there now? A massive fucking supermarket. Okay, Chatelet Les Halles. And we've got the Parois. There's the church. Look at the size of it. It looks like Gladiator's venue from the top. You've got the dome of a mosque right next door. Okay, <laughs> let's keep zooming. And it's St Eustace. <laughs> you are aware of Euston Station in uh, London? <laughs> St Eustace was a Roman who refused to worship with the Church of Rome. Isn't that a sad story? Right at the end of another one of the Roman roads. Okay? They make up every news release that they dream up and they impose it on you. Uh, and if I could show you the other images that I've got on that other computer next door. Syndicate General de la Bourse. I don't know what that is. It does not look... It could be a mosque, but it's ambiguous. <laughs> okay? So there is... Les Halles, and that is where they used to have that massive market uh, and then it now becomes the hub for the train system and the underground which is the joke about the underworld and that six-pronged Jewish hexagram that means that they've got the boss up at the top I forget what the name of the boss is Adonis presumably <laughs> yeah that's the lord in the lords in the skies role like the lords in the judiciary, okay? Pirouette, <laughs> yeah? La Père Foutard, Église Saint Eustace. <laughs> it is a massive piss take. Okay, let's go back and look at the links. What was I going to show you? I've, I was going to play you. So let me play you Fields of Gold. This girl died very young. She sings songs that I now understand and I understand her premature death <laughs> okay black eyed molly she's an American <laughs> that's the land of the free <laughs> uh, no we're gonna have to hit fields of gold so Cheryl Crow w used to sing with Sting about being picked to play the game to liberate the world in other words and how she's been deserted in that cause <laughs> she makes movies with Rich Hall about the sun coming up and the air balloons going into orbit which is the upstairs sector in the hexagram yeah? they know that it is all a crock of shit that there is no heaven there was never a Jesus and they sing about it and then they get their tits taken off because they get a horrible cancer and then they understand it but when you try to make a fool of the people and you steal from them using these methods it is really dangerous now which is why we have a spate of cartoon movies instead of them being bold enough to risk their own organs or their own breasts <laughs> yeah it is really really sad that they are as brutal as they can be to the rest of the world and then they understand why their children are mal malformed when they're born ok uh, fields of gold let's get into YouTube first
So this singer, Eva Cassidy. Eva. Do you get it? Eve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's everything is wrapped up into the same belly laugh until they are interned in the coffin and then their family find it quite sad what they've done to the world and the fact that the gods that created that world in the first place are beginning to catch up with them they're now ahead of them and they are now panicking you should hear the news in Scotland George Allegaria no longer reads the news because he's either in the ITU still or in the grave all of the frauds are covered up by the Islamic terror threat and the Islamic religion is so intertwined with these two frauds that are Christianity and Judaism that it is incredible. It's the same authors, the same writers and the stories that we get about history in the countries are written by the popes. That's the Pendragon jokes that I've told you about already. All of the King Arthur story was written by the popes in Rome and all of the stories about the, the religious inquisitions it's just a cull it's just a tax paying commitment and in the old days, in the medieval days the tax king paying commitment was borne by the aristocracy that owned the land and they were the only people that were allowed to have sex and to marry the rest of them until they created the fuck word which is the fornication under consent of the king which is the launch of the world's for-profit brothels by the monarchies that run the system this way until they become controlled by the money lenders <laughs> that Jesus in inverted commas warned us about which are the Rothschilds who now totally own the whole world okay let me let me show you another thing because I want to hang this woman's ass out to dry she's making a joke here about the brutalization of Iraq by Tony Blair the socialist so this is right up to what date what can you tell us about your film that's showing at the London Film Festival um, it's called Peter Mandelson the Real PM and it's, uh, it's a fly-on-the-wall observational film. Uh, I followed him around from October last year till June this year. So preceding the election, during the election and after the election. Um, why did you choose uh, Peter Manson, of all characters in British politics, as someone to make the film about? Cool. Because he's the most interesting person in British politics, don't you think? Well, I think. You know, he's colourful, he's clever, he's naughty. You know, you know there's going to be an explosion or two. Uh, so Peter Mandelson uh, stole fifty million pounds from the brutalization of Iraq. His inquest has never been held. He's on rehab for a few weeks as an alcoholic. He's accused of being a homosexual deviant by the world's press and even by the investigative journalists that investigate the trivia that you're seeing here. She's a relatively innocent person. She does not kill people, not to my knowledge, but she is part of the Rothschild ownership team. Uh, and she laughs at the brigands that brutalize innocent countries perpetually, being the most powerful people on our globe. Mandelson tutored and mentored Nadim Zahawi, who has his businesses registered in the House of Commons and is a war criminal and has launched war crimes proceedings against the innocents in Kurdistan. He is a Kurdistani citizen. He left that for the public schoolboys sector in England where he was probably abused by people like Portillo and Mandelson. Yeah, because that's what happens in public school and everybody knows that and everybody has that as something that is just a little habit that they picked up at school but the financial profiteering that she fails to cover in that statement is vicious I don't want her to get a cancer I don't want her with any afflictions I want her to come forward and start talking about how to take the world to decency and to stop the futile little cover-ups that we are seeing here Yeah. The other pictures of her, when you look for her on YouTube, you see her 
as a peace protester. This is the Rothschilds. Right then, let me show you when you get cynical like that what happens. So Fields of Gold is the Rothschilds project globally <laughs> and Eva Cassidy sings it. Sting sings it with Cheryl Crow who sings it, who sings about having a good time Can and being mindless. The Supreme Novice is hurled, the first race of my last ever. That's the Barclay Brothers, the Barley joke, the fields of gold is about the land grabs, the Barley joke is the Barclay Brothers. You can tell I did not understand this one until I got this one and you now have this one because I've shown you the links to Molly <laughs> yeah, in the Jewish angel sector. Eva Cassidy that's Eve Cassidy <laughs> dark eyed Molly it's about having a good time in the tavern with high women those are robbers no images for reputational reasons from the land of the free. It's about robbers and highwaymen and the Jewish angel. It's ever so sad when you realise that she does not understand why she was afflicted with the pathology. Listen to the song by Travis about the gods looking after everything we do. <laughs> yeah, and watch then the song about uh, writing to reach you where you have the RAF coming after them. You now understand the RAF, that is the Raphael bit. The red, white and blue is the all-seeing eye symbol and that is what is on the RAF aircraft through all of the conflicts run by all of these jokers since they were able to launch the aeroplane. That's the Wright brothers and the power of the John Robertson Wright character is still on the conscience of my local parishioners. He lives within two miles of my house and he's a millionaire at the HSBC and he's got loads of interest at the Borders College in Dubai and the Borders Arab Chamber of Commerce. Okay, so what we've got in those videos that I showed you about the Jewish angels are links to